Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to feature Talbot Shaving, Cole's Pond. The brush for today, which has been soaking, is going to be the West Coast Shaving Deranged Edition with a 28 millimeter Declaration B4 knot. The razor is going to be my Max Sprecher. This is a 9 8 half hollow. And lastly, we're going to finish it off with Chatillon Lux Tom Sock. So let me squeeze out the water in the brush and we'll get lathered up and get into the scent. As you all know, uh, Chad Irish is the man behind Talbot soaps, Talbot shaving. Uh, many of his soaps are inspired by uh, childhood experiences and, and um, are very much inspired by life events. This particular scent, Coles Pond, pays homage to um, Chad's childhood in which his grandparents would take he and his cousins to Coles Pond, which is in the northern part of Vermont during the winter. And so this scent is um, really intended to kind of give you the sense of the area. I would say the scent strength off the bat is, um, it's mid, it's probably somewhere between a, a five and a six. The scent notes are fir, pine, balsam, eucalyptus, camphor, cedar, and amber. And what I will say is that right off the top, I'm immediately met with the fur, with sort of a, uh, a lighter sort of pine note to it. And that is followed by uh, sort of a, um, a very crisp uh, scent, which I can only attribute really to the, the eucalyptus and maybe the camphor. And I'm just gonna wet my face and we'll get lathered up. Yeah, the, uh, the crisp coolness is really, uh, it certainly paints a picture for me of being in a sort of snowy, snowy mountain terrain. Lots of trees around, lots of green. A uh, very coniferous sort of scent. But it really has that note that gives you the sense of that bite that a crisp, cool winter air can have, especially in the north north region of the US in this case the northeast it is really really well done this is certainly a uh, a winter sort of scent This definitely has that sort of a, uh, just that, that same fur scent that you would get from a Christmas tree after having just chopped it down in the woods. Very appropriate scent for the holidays. And as you can see, this is, this is a very thick lather. 
I'm gonna need to add a little bit more water to it, which is not an issue with Talbot soaps. Talbot soaps are thirsty. I would not consider it overly thirsty, but it can take water. This is very, very dense. Add a little bit more water to it. There we go. And one thing I should mention too is that Cole's Pond is, um, it features Talbot's new low profile jars. Now I have the previous release and what most of the other Talbot soaps were released in. So just as comparison. So really this, this allows for a slightly easier uh, loading of the brush. Um, th there's a lot of space in these older tubs. Um, which I wouldn't find as a, a big inconvenience, but I think uh, it, it is certainly nice to have it a little bit closer to the surface to be able to lather. So really well done. All right, so I'm lathered up. And we're gonna start out with the grain. and I have a day's growth. Talbot has always been one of uh, the better performing soaps for me personally. It's, uh, it is a very easy soap to lather. As you can see, it's got plenty of density and cushion to it. And the slickness is, uh, is well above average. No issues with buffing over areas without lather. Just effortless. Just, it, the razor is just absolutely gliding, no issues. Excellent. Really, really great first pass. First pass is always usually drama free. <laughs> Just rinse off real quick.
Got lather everywhere. The scent does stay, uh, I would say about mid. Once it's on your face. There's not too much deviation from what I get off the tub to when it is lathered up. The amber and cedar notes in this I think are, are very subtle. It's a really, really nice scent. And for the next pass, we'll go against the grain. Feels great. If I hadn't already mentioned, this is Talbot's version two base. This base was updated in 2018. And for those that aren't aware, the release date for Cole's Pond, which is January 31st, which is when I believe this uh, review will, will make its appearance, is also the two-year anniversary of Talbot Shaving being in production. So congratulations to Chad and Talbot shaving on two years. had a little bit tougher time with this shave due to the just the incredible slickness of this it's really um it's probably hard to tell but it's uh it's a little bit more difficult to stretch the skin and keep uh keep everything where it needs to be BBS. Let's dry off the
the blade here. And let me rinse off and we'll get to the post shave. One last note about Talbot. For those that don't know, uh, Talbot donates a dollar for each tub of soap that is sold. And they donate a dollar to the Trust for Public Land, which is something that Chad is quite passionate about. Um, so very good cause. Um, really, really uh, enjoy the fact that he, he is so passionate about it and is willing to donate um, his time and effort to a cause that he deems so. Uh, important to him and, and his family. Post shave, Chatillon Lux Tom Sock. Tom Sock is a, um, is inspired by, I believe, Missouri's tallest mountain. It is a very, uh, very cool scent very much like Cole's Pond. I think this is an, an exceptional match to it. West Coast Shaving will be carrying matching splashes for Cole's Pond. And additionally, West Coast Shaving will be donating a dollar from each of the aftershaves sold and also donating that to the Trust for Public Land. So very cool collaborative effort in that sense. And that was an incredible shave. Well, thanks for joining, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. And I look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.